I am Dr. Astha Dayal and I am the lead consultant gynecologist at CK Birla Hospital in Gurgaon. So today we are going to talk about contraception. Now uh, I have seen that nowadays uh, a lot of girls are sexually active but they don't have enough information about contraception and because of that you land up in unwanted pregnancies which becomes uh, very difficult for the couple. So all women who are sexually active should very well know all the methods of contraception that they can use and what are the pros and cons of that. So today I will be talking uh, briefly about all the possible methods and what are the advantages and disadvantages. So, first of all, that is the barrier method. So, barrier contraception includes male condoms, female condoms, Dutch caps and cervical caps which can be used by women and they, it is inserted into the vagina like a menstrual cup and it can be removed and reused after intercourse. So, these methods have the advantage that uh, they don't have any side effects and there is no long term effect. Whenever you stop using it, you can try for pregnancy. The big advantage of male and female condoms is that this is the only method that will prevent a sexually transmitted infection. And very young couples or unmarried couples are more prone to sexually transmitted infections. So, it is very important that they use this method even if they are using some other method to prevent a pregnancy. So the main uh, advantages of condoms I've already told you. The disadvantage is that there is a 12% failure rate which means that if you don't use it properly there is a chance that there could be an unplanned pregnancy. But if you use it carefully and every time and not just at the time of insertion you have to use it before any genital contact then it is a very safe and effective method to prevent both a pregnancy and a sexually transmitted infection. You can also combine condoms with uh, some spermicidal jellies or sponges but only thing that you have to remember is that you have to remove it and clean it and uh, for the diaphragms and sponges also you should not leave it inside you should timely remove it otherwise it can cause infection. Now let's come to the second method which is the hormonal pills. Now hormones are the estrogen and progesterone hormones which we give for contraception. This is a good method for young couples who don't have any high risk factors and uh, most couples use it for uh, about 3 to 5 years and it is safe to be used in this duration. Sometimes if you are more than the age of 35 or if you smoke or if you are obese, diabetic, hypertensive or if you have some family history of blood clotting disorders then we don't recommend these pills or if you also have a history of breast cancer then in the family then we don't recommend it. But if you are young and healthy and you don't have any of these risk factors then you can safely use these pills. The advantage of these pills is that it is 99% effective if you don't miss a pill. But the disadvantage is that you have to take the pill every day. So you have to take the pill in the first week of your period, for 3 weeks you take it, then you stop it, then you get your period. So this is how you have to continue taking it and it does have some side effects like acidity, nausea, bloating, headache, some weight gain. But it, the newer methods, the newer pills that we have nowadays, they have less of these side effects and they also have good effects on your skin and hair. Other advantages of these pills are if you already have some irregular periods or hormonal imbalance like PCOD then this will actually cure your PCOD also along with giving you contraceptive benefit. Now uh, the pill taking daily is difficult so sometimes there are other ways of taking these hormones which is in the form of rings which can be inserted in the vagina for 3 weeks and then you remove it you get your period so every month you use a new ring or there are patches also sometimes you also give hormones in the form of injections which are long acting so there are these are long acting methods which can be used for spacing Similarly, we have other long acting methods like copper tea or multi load which you must have heard of which is an instrument which goes inside the uterus and it prevents a pregnancy for about 3 years or 5 years or 10 years if you want to use it as a spacing method. We don't generally give it as the first choice for a couple who's never been pregnant but if there's no other option suitable for you, you can still discuss it with your doctor. Now these are the long acting methods which I spoke about. Then there are permanent methods like sterilization which could be male sterilization or female sterilization. This is a surgery. The male sterilization is called vasectomy and uh, you can uh, generally men can get it done and after 3 months they can uh, you stop using protection because then the sperms will not be able to cause uh, to reach the uh, semen and cause a pregnancy. 
and for females uh, it is called tubal ligation which is a surgery which can be done by laparoscopy or during your cesarean delivery we can also do it at the same time now one more thing I wanted to talk about was the emergency pill or the emergency contraceptive which has to be taken within 72 hours of intercourse. Now people sometimes uh, mistake it as the birth control pill. Now the birth control pill as I mentioned was a 21 day tablet that you have to take. The emergency pill you are taking after you have had intercourse. So it's an emergency contraceptive. It is not your regular contraceptive. You should not be using it as a regular method because it has a high dose of hormone, it can cause side effects, it can cause irregular cycles, it can cause uh, cyst formation in the ovaries. So it should not be a regular method. You could use it maybe once or twice a year when your regular method fails. But in most cases you should have some of the other regular methods and uh, don't rely on the pill like you can't take it three four times in a month or uh, because then it will cause a lot of hormonal imbalance i hope this is information was useful for you and for more such videos please keep watching our channel thank you